this is spider another PyCharm ID and we can type programs right here so we have a tapped interface and you can switch between tabs or you can press this button to quickly jump to files this is a very basic uh, as far as this is just a code right but it has more advanced features so on the right here we have a console and this console shows the output and so if you were to run it you'll see the output right in the console so that's one of the, the features they also have the python console right here so you can try out the commands or use whatever REPL uh, functionality you want we've got some history log which just shows the runs um, so that's the very basic parts now notice we have a help screen here so if you go to any function and you press ctrl i you'll see it shows details on that function it shows what the function does and a more detailed description and the arguments and so that works for any function so you can get more more details on that now there's a variable explorer as well which shows you output of the, the variables now it does not clear them automatically so that can be quite uh, quite something so you'd have to manually remove that uh, but let's say we remove all and run it again and the variable should pop up in here after after completion okay so there we go the variable is right there now they also have a file explorer just very basic file explorer and then you have several other options like debugging you have console you can create projects you have project explorer and there's some other tools like you can also change your settings if you want you can change the color scheme to to another type of syntax highlighting you can change the interpreter uh, keyboard shortcuts and all kind of things so it's really an extensive editor compared to say notepad or not plus 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 or whichever this type of simple editors <laughs>